Let's cover an easy and fun little owl. It has a very simple structure. You can carve your own little army of owls. You can use any wood. I'm going to carve a basswood block that usually comes in a pack of 10 or so. So grab a carving knife and some wood. For me, it's a 1 by 1 inch block. Although you can easily use any rectangular piece without being restricted to a particular size. Use any saw available to cut a required piece. The first thing we do is make it rounded, removing all the sharp corners. I simply start taking off wood, seeing which way it is easier to carve. If I feel resistance, that means I'm carving against the grain, so I turn it around and carve with the grain now. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I try to make sure that I have circles on top and at the bottom. Now let's remove the edge from one side, so that our piece tapers to the top.
So here it is. Now, if you look at an owl, you see that it has these two planes on the sides for eyes. So this is what I do. I make one big round plane, a sort of a surface on the incline we just created. And then another one just next to it. You can take some wood in between them to make the forehead a bit bigger. Now again, if you look at the owl, you will see that the surface is a bit concave. So I'm going to do the same here. I will make it a bit deeper in the middle, so that it would have a nice curve. Now I create some flat surface for the beak, just under the place where the eyes are going to be. I draw a beak with a pencil. Then I follow the pencil with a knife and carve towards my lines, giving the beak some thickness.
Now I'm going to draw eyes. You can make them bigger if you want. Again, I follow the circle with a knife and then I want to give the eyes some definition. I carve just inside the circle, creating a sort of rounded groove. This way the eyes will stand out. Now, our owl is a bit narrower at the bottom, so let's remove some extra wood. I check that the circle at the bottom is more or less rounded. Now let's do the wings. I find the middle on the back and start drawing them. It's the same drill, I follow the pencil lines with a knife and then carve towards them and give them some thickness.
you could leave it there or you can also add some little details like separate feathers. I tidy up the front a little bit, making it smoother. Now I like to use a bit of sandpaper just to remove any fluff under the wings and in the eyes. And now I'm going to paint it. You can use different colors and make your owl grey for example, or you can leave it as it is, if you are carving wood other than basswood. I will make it brown. I will use burnt sienna for the most part. Here at the bottom I will add some black paint to make it more interesting and then blend it all together. Then I will use light brown at the front and I will add burnt sienna at the bottom. Some black for the eyes and the beak. And don't forget the catchlight in the eyes. And this is it! Our little owl is ready!